Uh, north to New York. We'll come see the dog. North going on. <laughs> tomorrow, yeah. Mm-hmm. All right. I got yeah. Doc here. I got Doc and Greg and the kids. Come, on, everybody can come. <laughs> I can't mute anybody, so. Why not? Because I'm not in control of the meeting. Is Brian here? Yep. All right, Brian. So Brian's got it done. Don't worry about it. Brian's got everything under control. Okay. He's the greatest gatekeeper of them all. (laughs) Uh, How's everybody been? Fam, I missed everybody. I hope everybody had a great holiday. A family day. Hey, PJ, how's it going, man? Just been hanging out. Staying out of trouble, not getting arrested, that's all. (laughs) <laughs> for now for now no. hopefully I get out of that stage man uh, yeah alright secure transactions alright so Laurel we're going to have to start getting emails I'm going to start uh, going on tour in the RV uh, after Christmas and anybody that wants a picture can kiss my ass you can see it live and in person I'll come visit everybody uh, bases, military bases. I don't know about all that. The one in Colorado, I might do. I'm not worried about it though. But everybody, uh, <clears throat> I've been reaching out to that we're gonna go extremely, extremely private. Uh, some of the other people out there got a little butt hurt when I told Laurel to make a statement or a status that. And the end game. Okay, so in the end forms. You bring the th- there's three registered accounts that they have on there, okay, that I've been shown, and those are your build exchange, your BC bond order for set off, your set off bond, your BC bond order with the blue ribbon around it, and then your indemnity bond, which is your insurance. So, once you insure everything, and I'm gonna go over court new stuff that I've learned uh, from reading some of these reads that they gave me. Um, Nothing new, just uh, new insurance procedures. Um, buying an airplane. So we're going to go over trademarking your name. We're going to go over copywriting the last name. Why it's important to con- just control that last name and then liquidate that shit. Because the last name is property to the crown. Not They own it. They can, you know what I mean? But what we do with the UCC one security agreement is we put a we have our interest in it. And then uh, <clears throat> it would be uh, like I said, nine nine sixty six. You would liquidate your estate, and um, there's a, a fuck. Ooh, excuse me, sorry. Uh, there's a book called High Power Investment for Dummies. There's ten books in one. It's kind of like uh, it's kind of like this one. All right. So the end game, you're gonna have to know the accounting, and uh, I'll give you the specific chapters of the what you're gonna read. You don't need to read this whole freaking thing. I ran through the chapters. Believe me, I have to run through a couple more, but I have the basis. I have the dividend payout accounting. I have interest accounting. I have um, hedge fund uh, stuff. There's a bunch of shit in here that I'll have a class on. I'll have a class on this. Um, yeah, it's just coming out. Filling out form um, 144A, and then they ask you one of the questions. I'll tell you guys, they ask you about rule 144. Susan, can you mute yourself, please? And we'll get into it. Um, well, I'll get into it when I've been mentoring you guys, and we'll get into all that stuff. Uh, Amy Jordan sent me a wonderful read called Ye Shall Be Redeemed. It's a great read about probate, getting the seven seals, and it goes into sapphire stones. Um, really, 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 really great read. Uh if she tells me I can share it with you guys, I'll share it with you guys. 
What's our share, share girl? Share, by all means. Thank you, Amy. You're welcome. Yes, thank you, Amy. All right, let's see here. You gonna turn your camera on, PJ? It's not on? Nope. What about now? You missed that face? Gotta see that PJ face. I do. Yeah, it's not the same without it. <laughs> you know this. Uh, uh, uh. All right, let's put the white on. Secured trans damn. Secured transactions. UCC Article 9. We're gonna go over a couple of definitions with you guys. I'm gonna review the secure transaction. I'm gonna review going over the bill of exchange, uh, negative accounting, claiming it, recouping, next class. Everybody, we're gonna do the uh, 709. And we're gonna go over skip, what a skip person is. I'll go over it tonight, but we'll get in depth with it in class and we'll fill it out. I just filled mine out and mailed it off, so I'm excited. I want my money back now. Uh, I'm looking, I'm just looking for, I, miss, I put one of these books somewhere, Sam. I got shit all over the place. Hold on. Laurel, Jay on? I don't know. I sent him an email. I did too. Share your screen. Me? Yeah. It's got to do with claiming kids. I want to go over it. Open up the folder, go to secure creditor uh, one and then stop the pirates two. But I could have just shared my screen, my bad, but I'm doing this reading. Still slush up here, man. I hate snow blowing slush. Fuck out of here. Um, secret files. <clears throat> Uh, private docs. Open up that life claim certificate. This is what I sent to Jay. Who's not muting themselves? <coughs> Try you. No, I hear the news. Please mute yourself if you haven't. Please do that. Who's listening to the news? Turn that shit up. Okay, so this book, uh, if you never mind, I'll tell what I Okay. So. Live birth name, because we're going to the Geneva Convention. For me, it would be Peter Joseph, the house of Polinsky. But if you have your kids, your kids will go on here. If you have children and you're claiming biological property, here we go. Was this part of Jay's stuff, Laura? No. Okay. I didn't think so. And so down here, you can see um, this general info, you know what I mean? 
go down. But see, so you put the picture here, you give them their fingerprint, and then boom, a little saliva on the paper right there. And then you just uh, have them sign it. You can just have them put an X through it. It doesn't matter. Um, keep going down. That's it, right? That's for that one dot. All right, now go to the patent of nativity. Your patent of nativity, once registered, serves just as good as a bill of lading. Um, bill of lading is explained in UCC Article 7, Documents of Title. Sean, mute yourself. And so now this patent of nativity, now it's getting into your lineage because a lot of you are going to fall into that most of your family can't understand or understand what you tr what you're trying to accomplish here. Um, so your end game, and what I'm being taught is the way that you're going to be able to help them out is you're going to be creating hubs through your foreign grantor trust and your LLCs, okay? And then it'll be a family trust set up, and then there will be a hub created where they can all just pull from. You see what I'm saying? And it'll be it'll always be funded through your birth certificates, your master QCIPs. Um, I was, I'm about to, I'm, I'm about to be a full participant in the DTC. I'll be writing checks for two hundred fifty thousand dollars every day. That's ninety million a year. Okay. I'm going down to DC before Christmas. We're going to get the IDs. I've been do invited down to the consulate office. I'll take videos of it. Show you guys where it is. You guys can all go there. Um, once you're prepared, once I've mentored you, we'll get you the proper IDs, the proper status, all that good stuff. <clears throat> so again, I just wanted to, I sent this to Jay because Jay, we're going and Doc, we're about to pull the pull children out of commerce and they're not going to be um, bastard children and they're not going to be born out of wedlock anymore. And this is going to be the claim that anybody else that interferes you know, with that, with the life, then I got numbers for that. But anyways, <clears throat> secure transaction. Let's go over the, I'll go, we'll have a review, what it is, how to do it, why we're doing it, what you have to have set up before you can do it. So we'll do that first. Before you can do it, make sure you have your trust set up um, with the, with the treasury. Because the reason why we're banking with the U.S. Treasury is because we're going to nationalize it. That's how you get rid of the Rothschilds, Rockefellers, whatever, whoever, any kind of European interest or foreign interest in the gates of them all. If we all bank with the United States Treasury, as we're supposed to, and I think Jackson, I forget who set it up, or Jackson made the first uh, nationalized bank. I can't remember. Don't quote me on that shit, please. Uh, so once we all start, you know, getting our bonds there, because that's how this is where you're going to be drawing your checks from, right? We're drawers, and I've been asking people this because this is part of the interview. You're welcome. So when they ask you who the drawer is, we are the drawer. But what are we drawing? We're drawing up a bill of exchange. We're putting our order in a money order. Okay. The difference between a bill of exchange. <clears throat> and an international bill of exchange is if I'm say I'm an American and I go to Canada and I, I cut the check that makes it an international bill of exchange. Okay. Now I'm going to go over the banking procedure for what you did for your house, your mortgage or whatever, um, your death warrant, we want to call it a mortgage. It's, it's, it's a, it's a death plea. You guys know Latin and etymology. I don't need to explain that stuff to you guys. You guys know what time it is. So, <clears throat> you bought buy a house, for example. You went there with a deed of trust. They wrote up a deed of trust and uh, a promissory note that usually has a rate rider with it. Now, because it has a rate a rate rider, now it's a fixed. Um, it makes it non-negotiable, basically. It's a non-negotiable instrument. Once something becomes non-negotiable, it's, it's an automatic security. And securities are governed by UCC Article 8. They're defined in UCC Article 8-102.
what your birth certificates are, bills of lading, and their equitable, their equitable securities. Okay. <clears throat> so you again, you want your trust set up with the treasury. You will need uh, a registered mail number with a bill of exchange. It's a promissory note, a bonded promissory note, um, indemnity bond, and your set off bond. Right, those three. You need those three registered mail numbers because those have to carry, and those are going to be account numbers that are going to be passed to when you write checks your pass through is going to be your foreign grant or trust pj what do you mean by cure okay so when you're dealing with with bonds it takes 90 days to cure so when most people, when you start sending your stuff off, because when you start sending your bonds off to the treasury to be to be deposited, you can get your credits, because you're going to be linking up your 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 trust accounts, your brokerage accounts to your TDAs, okay? And you're gonna I'll be I'll show I'm gonna be showing people the three accounts. You're gonna have um, cash management accounts, currency accounts. You know what I mean? There's some there's some sauce in there. I'm telling you. And then anybody that knows a series seven broker, buy that motherfucker or buy that dude dinner, buy that female dinner. Get close with them because they're gonna be the last people that gonna be you're gonna be talking to, and you're gonna be bringing them your securities, and you better know what you're doing, and I'll prepare you for that shit. Uh, it's gonna be a great Christmas up here. That's all I know. Um, and like I said, after Christmas, start the new year. I'm gonna flood the uh, flood the United States with all this info, travel, hold seminars, hold classes in uh, various um, cities. Laurel Laurel's gonna make uh, the the first like five cities that I'm going to. Oh, so I'm going. <clears throat> okay, so when you went there with the deed of trust, okay, and your promissory note, and you signed it. That's how the living man shows up on. The living man is not in the system. The way that they know is the living man is your sign of nature, your signature. Sign of nature, signature. That's how you put your soul onto this paper. You sign it. And then it becomes, you know what I mean? So then you took that property, your signature is your property, and you handed it over to the bank. So what did you just do? You just made a transfer, right? That's the transfer. And what was the transfer to? So I was showing Laurel this, right? I sent out a couple of videos that Gene did on 709s. I'll just, you know what I mean? I'll just show you how I take notes and shit. I don't know if you see this. Laurel, you stop sharing. I'll show you where I'm reading from. Now, I'll, I'll have Laurel forward everybody the videos. <clears throat> Sonia found them <clears throat> out in Australia. Tony and Sonia are doing good work out there. <clears throat> I'll be out there after the new year. Promise. Uh, but this is Gene stuff. This is all, just off one video. Or two videos on them. You know what I mean? I stopped, then I went back in. I do like a female, my bad. Always sign and shit. I have that. Steve knows I signed that bitch in the middle, too. Can you come up a little bit with that? Ah, fam, I'm trying to copy my notes, man. You like the, I know you was that kid in class, man. Cheating all the time, man. It's better that it's coming from you then. <laughs> okay, so now, all right, so so what you did, you made the transfer, okay? Now you made the transfer. What's a transfer? A transfer is a negotiation. Okay, so you said, all right, well, you know what? I have $3,000 worth of uh, bill of exchange with the acceptance on it, the acceptance of the um the deed and your promissory note makes that unconditional promise to pay. 
That's what your banker's acceptance does. You ask anybody else out there, no, no. what does the banker's acceptance do? They don't know. It makes it a, that makes it an unconditional promise to pay. So when you're putting when you're putting that banker's acceptance on the back of the social, or excuse me, no, the back of the social, you could, the back of the birth certificates, it's for special deposit, for special purposes, for SESTA-K uses, redeeming lawful money in accordance to Title 12 USC Section 411. And then you put the banker's acceptance in red. I'll show people now when you guys get there. Don't worry, I got all the documented. <clears throat> And then it makes that security, that equitable security, an unconditional promise to pay for five million. And you get 10 of them a year. Order up. So you made a transfer. So now you negotiated. Now, now you, you, did a, you should have done a special deposit. It should have been on a UCC1. And it should have been assigned to the bank on the UCC3. That's how the, you don't lose it. Nobody ever registers their... Their deed of trust or promissory note on a UCC one, and after three years, or well, Steve, I don't know. Was, I gotta look at Steve's paperwork. They might have already filed the UCC. I gotta see what they do. But this is everything that the banks do. Remember, you're a private banker, Title Thirty One USC Section Fifty Three Twelve. States you're a private banker. <clears throat> Mute yourself. Okay, and then, all right, so you guys want to look up, all right, so if you guys heard Gene say the four, the rule 424, the B5 prospectuses, I know the website where you register to go look them all up, and it's in one of the books, so if you buy one of the books that I tell everybody to read, you'll have it. All right. So all farm products are inventory. Oh, so that was the collateral. Francis Tudor, that was right. Okay. Title 26 USC 856 subsection C subsection 1 says the taxpayer, which is the remic, uh, and is required to make an election. The election they're talking about is usually tw Title 26, uh, 2053. It'll be in the instructions on the 709. I'll show you. In class, what? The six weeks. All right, the pup is six weeks. All right, all right, all right. Well, I'm buying a pup. Right, all right, that's fine. We can hold it for two more years. Christmas, Christmas coming early when the doc gets here. Okay, so in, in Gene's videos, I'm not gonna get into it, but because I want you guys to all watch them for next time. Um, I know Gene's a piece of. I don't want to say nothing bad about him because I'm not going to watch him. But listen, the videos, he's a great teacher. He knows what the, he, he does know what he's talking about. I think he's just, like I said, his mind's deteriorating and he was taking on too much of what he could handle. And he's a little, I, he's a little too greedy for me, I guess. But I love him, anyways. Don't worry, anybody that he fucked over, I'm going to show you how to get all your shit back. I'm going to show you how to. Zero out your accounts, write all the wrongs. Um, but in the video, anyways, in the video, Gene shows you how to where you find the violations to charge the banks when they don't when they don't transfer it to the remit. And we'll, he'll he'll get into it. You know what I mean? It's it's a great class. I have like eight pages of notes. I'm not gonna get into it now. I'm gonna go to secure transactions. Yes. All right. So you had the trust set up. You have a fins number. You have an estate EIN. 8283. You have your foreign grantor trust number. Um, you've liquidated the estate, form 966, and now you're ready to operate in commerce. And this is another reason why, I mean, you can go to every group and whoever sets up trust and whoever wants to be butthurt by it, all right, you set up their trust. Cool. Did you show them how to administer it? And with your trust set up, have anybody accomplished one discharge through your trust set up? And I want to see it. And you send me the emails in every single group and you find me one person. You find me one person that shows you negative account. If you show me one. And them little cuck agents that are in the group. That's why I don't want to be in the group because there's agents in there now. 
that are just there to deter you, like, you know what I mean, from me, make you second guess me, Laurel, you know what I'm saying? It's just stupid. And it, it's, it's Facebook shit, it's keyboard shit. It's not like somebody's in your face talking shit, you know what I mean? And then I ain't gonna have my blood boiling for cucks. Okay, so let's go over some ish, some sauce for you. I got tabs all over the place. I just wanna read off the first one. Uh, the most important you could do for your, the most important thing that you can do for yourself, and Jay Jay said it too, uh, is get familiar with the definitions of Article Nine. That's one of Jay's things. Like when Jay wants to sell some of his stuff or help somebody out, he'll tell me, he'll tell his whoever's asking, go read definitions, and he'll come back to him. If you don't know any of the definitions, you just don't fuck up. You don't fuck with people that put in the work, man, and not scared to put in the work. Okay, so the first one, I don't know if I went over this already, um, and I, again, I'm going to go over the secure transaction, but I want to get a couple codes out there for you guys to write down that are important, that are going to um, guide you through your secure transaction. Um, we're, me, we're working on a website, so we can um, put all the files there, the videos. Um, everybody that paid for class, you guys are all going to get a shout out. Um, one way or another. Um, but that's why I'm taking you guys out and it's going to be just us. And uh, I'll, be, I'll be mentoring groups. So I'll, I'll be setting up groups for 10 to 20 people for like 10 grand a piece. Come to your city. I'll come with the, with the computers, the projector. We'll chill for a couple of days. Don't print the shit out of your bonds. Make sure you straight work on indictments, show you whatever you need to work on, fix you up, teach you how to protect your family, protect your loved ones, your children. You know what I mean? And let love and light rain, man. <clears throat> First one, we are the assigners, right? So when I showed you that mortgage book and the, the power of the assigner, it gets the release and discharge of mortgages. And for anybody that didn't see it, I gotta keep that fucker next to me. This one, a great read. It's one of my actually. This became one of my favorite books. Um, it's a treatise on the law of mortgages and deeds of trust. And if you go to section two hundred two, I mean, I can go. I can name fifteen, twenty-five sections. I can read this book, book off for a half an hour of just straight sauce. <clears throat> I'm telling you. All right, so. One ninety one ninety five two one one discharge or release of mortgage by the assigner. Now how do you become the assigner? UCC three. You guys seen it before, but Brian's brought in a couple more of the family. So I got to show Gene's kids. <clears throat> now, <clears throat> so what are we, why are we doing the assignment? We're doing the assignment for the benefit of the creditor. Now, anybody that calls himself a secured party creditor doesn't know what they're talking about. There's a secured party and then there's a creditor. Okay, so an assignment for the benefit of creditors, a security interest, uh, and the initial assignment for the benefit of creditors along with subse uh, subsequent transfers by the transferee, which is the banks, UCC Article 9-309, subsection 12, is where you can read the assignment for the be uh, benefit of the creditor. I'm going to have a class on commercial tort claims. So everybody, you know, everybody, where you're, if you've registered, uh, <clears throat> I 
if you registered your checks but didn't put them on a UCC one and assign it you in UCC three, you're halfway there. But I'll still show you a commercial tort claim. This is an Article Nine. Okay, commercial tort claims. A limited. Okay, for the paperwork for a commercial tort claim, it's Fiscal Form fifty five eleven. It's Standard Form ninety five. And IRS Form thirty nine forty nine A. And a, and, a, and a claimant, which I call it claimants now, which is an affidavit. And I'll show everybody an example of my commercial tort claim that I'm going to do. <clears throat> so it's a limited category of commercial tort claims fall under Article 9. This category uh, includes only business claims arising in tort. It does not include claims for damages arising out of personal injury or death. You see Article 9-102, subsec uh, subsection 13. So this is for, so I'm going to, we got, Laura, write this down. We got to call Aaron and Krista and I want to do a, uh, for the military, uh, the health insurance. Because I forgot to go over that. I feel bad. And uh, so the health care, you have a, you can do a security interest. Okay. And an insurance policy and generally, uh, except for the extent that they are proceeds of other collateral. Healthcare insurance receivables are the exception. Uh, UCC Article 9-109, subsection D, as in dog, subsection 8. Again, that's UCC Article 9-109, subsection D, subsection 8, 102, subsection 2, and 102, subsection 46 will explain the <clears throat> healthcare insurance receivables. I'm also going to have another class on UCC Article 5, Letters of Credit, and I'm going to show you how Article 9 and Article 5, like, are, they, they go together, and how we're going to put a security interest through a letter of credit and uh, negotiate it with Mnuchin, all right? Just want to get you guys some codes and I'm going to I'll show you all the, the secure transaction stuff and how to buy cars, boats, um, airplanes. Okay, sales accounts, cattle paper, uh, payment intangibles, or promissory notes. So payment intangible, promissory notes, these are all the same thing. Cattle paper, sales accounts. This is, you want, this is, you, all right, all this is Article 9, so 109, subsection A, subsection 3. Okay, so that's, you want to get familiar with that. And Article 4, now UCC Article 4 is bank deposits, right? Now, wouldn't that be a good book to get? So the books that I'm talking about are these. Um, ah, these ABC books. One through nine, grab them all. This explains how to do everything. You'll buy it. You'll be building castles after you read these nine books, and they're not long. You can read them in an hour and a half to two hours. No problem. Okay? No problem. Ah, uh, Chris Collins. Air Force agent, top CIA guy. He wanted me to go meet his brother down in Washington, D.C. to write a $50 million promissory note. Out of the blue. I said, yeah, sure, pal. No problem. Be right there. <clears throat> great guy. Great guy. Love talking to him. Got a great heart. Got a bunch of kids. Love that dude. I'm glad he texted me. All right. Okay, supporting obligations. Guarantees, letters of credit, and other supporting obligations of debt, example, category, promissory notes, 
are generally automatically included, included when the debt is pledged. See UCC Article 9-203 and 308 subsection D. Okay, now you wanna buy an airplane. This is the first thing that you have to do. You wanna go buy a jet, all right? This is when your stuff is liquidated. Don't make fun of my chicken heads. I got a crazy collar back there. I got the swirl, so I'm connected to the higher room. Relax, all right? The Federal Aviation Act of 1958 governs perfection of security interest in airplane engines, propellers, and airplanes. A secured party must file a notice of security interest with the Federal Aviation Administration Aircraft Registry to perfect its lien. Okay, I'll say that again. A secured party must file a notice of security interest, which is your security agreement, with the indemnity bond, fidelity bond. Okay, and then that's mentioned on your collateral on your UCC1. Okay. Secure party must file a notice of security interest with the Federal Aviation Administration Aircraft Registry to perfect its lien. And it goes in the vessels. The Federal Commercial Instruments and Maritime Lien Law govern the perfection of security interests in documented vessels. A secured party needs to file a preferred ship mortgage with the National Vessel Documentation Center. A floating home, however, is not a vessel. So what that is telling you is the indemnity bonds, what it's asking for a mortgage, what they just everything is insurance, fam. When I tell you something, when you have your everything is insurance. Okay? If you're not insured, your your boat doesn't go anywhere, your vessel doesn't go anywhere. You have to be insured. That's why you have car insurance. People got fucking life insurance. They got dental insurance. Fuck it. Right there. That's your insurance. That's your indemnity bond. The treasury. Damn, I got people. <laughs> my bad, Steve. Lord, my bad. <laughs> I forgot I got other people in there. So PJ, at the moment, everybody's paying for, say, car insurance. They're going through a third party. We should be insuring ourselves with everything. Right. So then you would do a standard form 30, which is a, a loan modification. I'm sorry. It's a contract modification, standard form 30. And you would the, the modification would be in <clears throat> your security number or your straw man, which should be your address should be changed and everybody, nobody will ever bill your estate. All you, nobody, no creditor or secured party has any monthly bills. I'm going to Verizon. I finally got enough beaners to go open a, an account for you, but I, I want to pay with my treasury check. I don't want to pay with my, with any of my hard earned dollars. You see what I'm saying? So I'm going to go try with the treasury check first because I should be golden goose right now. So I'm going to go pay with the treasury check to open up my account, get on my phones and then um, go from there. And I'll show you the letters that I'm gonna send out to the CFO. And if they bill me, I'll indict the CFO of Verizon. I could care less, you know what I mean? At this point, but I know what I'm doing. I already sued them in federal court a long time ago. <laughs> <laughs> I won too. <laughs> Good, stick it to the man. Right, but no, when you do it, when you when you come correct and you set your accounts up correctly, everything goes, man. It's just you need that one person to show you, you know what I mean, show you the road. You know what I mean? Just you got to need somebody in. I'm in. I know people that are in. I wouldn't be able to show you the other. I wouldn't be able to show you any of this stuff. Unless, okay, so copyright in the last name. I have a read from Tammy Pepperman that explains all this stuff. Um, the copyrights, how it goes back to the crown. It goes where it started from, the Charter of Urso. It's 44 BC in Rome. You know what I mean? When they started doing charters, they look at us as animals. It's beautiful. Right? It explains a lot. It helped me with court. Um, helped me with indictments. I have a, these judges run. <laughs> Yo, these judges be out. Anyways, so 
copyright pursuant to copyright act because i know a lot like in part of the people's trust they have their common law copyright uh it's on their ucc one it's it's recorded at the county cool that doesn't copyright shit though so have fun don't the only way that you could press that is your fee schedule you won't be able to use the common law copyright but if you have your fee schedule with the county you can enforce that mofo okay but so to copyright it, we're gonna, it's going to be pursuant to Copyright Act of 1976, secure parties and register copyrights uh, must file a security agreement or a note or a memorandum in the U.S. Copyright Office. The secure party would be wise to file an Article 9 financing statement as well, as noted above. So you're going to send your security agreement, your financing statement, and your common law copyright to the U.S. Copyright Office. Write them a letter, just tell them who you are, blah, 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 blah. Basically, send them your executor letter and forgiveness letter along with that. And that's what I, that's what I sent out two weeks ago. Got the green card back. Good morning, David. Trademarks. The Lanham Act, like the Patent Act referenced below, generally requires filings at the federal level for transfers of ownership. What are we doing to that last name? We're taking over it. We're liquidating it. The Crown don't own it no more. But we're liquidating it. Now what you're going to be, you're governing yourself. You're your own nation. This is what the Geneva Convention is. Govern yourself or be governed, homie. So now you're going to, mine is Peter Joseph, the house of Polinski. I always tell people that we put, Polish people put ski on the last name because they couldn't spell toboggan. I ain't going to go there, though. So that's the trademark uh, part. Okay. However, the, the file the assignment with the commissioner of patents and trademarks. So that's, you would send again, your UCC one, your security agreement, executor letter, forgiveness letter, common law copyright. And I'm going to actually, I want to, I'm going to, I should have sent my fee schedule. Always send your fee schedule to everybody. All right. And I see, I mean, I'm not BS and I got all this in me. I read all this stuff because then nobody tell me, can't tell me I didn't put the work in. See what I mean? That would be the day somebody tell me I didn't put the work in or somebody outworked me for this shit. Fuck out of here. Slap somebody open handed. <laughs> Give somebody a high five right across their face. And I mean, this is so, we, I'm going to have a class on leases and we'll come Article 9 for leases and how to go get cars as a lease and stay brand new for every two years. Um, Which book is that? Come on, my G. You know what time it is, fam. Okay. Um, yeah, well, I just ordered that one. I can't wait to get into that. Beautiful. Nice. <laughs> See, and this is another thing I'm telling you is like you guys can order books that explains this shit. So anybody that tells you it's fake, it's a fraud, they got books on it. You know what I'm saying? What are you going to tell me? What are you going to tell me? You know what I'm saying? What? This shit's just all made up. The UCC. You know what I mean? What? The Geneva Convention. Unicentral Convention on the Internet. It's all made up. All these Supreme Treaties are just toilet paper. Because if that's the case, then how come I... You know what I mean? How come it's so hard to get along? You know what I mean? Fuck out of here. So, it's all real. You come in proper form. Um, I have a couple more codes. I'm going to get into a transaction again. So you can see it again. Grow into it. Get comfortable with it. Uh, okay, so this is another. Gene talks about you can read 305 and 306 for your rights and recoupment and set off, right? Cool. So... Laurel, go, never mind, let me share my stuff. Pull this stuff up for you, so. Put the porn hub down. Kidding. Anybody that's uptight, if you're uptight, you can't be in this class. <laughs> Tell them, Steve, you can't be uptight with me, fam. All right, what am I showing them? Notes. Notes. What we got for the kids?
Oh, should have seen that. Let y'all pause that. Oh, boom. UCC Article 9-340, effectiveness of right of recoupment or set off against a deposit account. And what's at your bank account? Deposit accounts. Okay. So when they're coming after you, if you look up UCC Article 9-404, that applies with respect to defenses or claims of an account debtor. The bank, you're all cat they're all they're all count debtors. UCC Article 9-109, subsection D, subsection 10, subsection A and B. Now your liens, people ask me to do liens, liens on real property. That's UCC Article 9-203, automatic attachment and supporting obligations such as an LLC or a guarantee, and then supporting liens such as a mortgage. And uh, 9-308, subsection D is your automatic perfection. Key terminology. <clears throat> Get familiar with these words I feel like and this book feels like is secured party debtor obligor secondary obligor I have more. These are good. And then it, it goes into important basic concepts, general, and it goes into subsection A, good faith. The UCC requires honesty. In fact, that the observance of reasonable commercial standards of fair dealing. This requirement applies to Article 9 transactions and appears throughout the UCC generously. So when, I, when people ask me if this stuff works, and when you make it to the private side, everybody and their mother acts honorable. You don't know, there's no sinners. That's when I tell people that I have no debt. Like I have not, none of that, no bills, none of that. None of, none of that commerce enters the temple. There's no business in God's house. There's no business in God's house. Chapter 2, page 29, goes into creating security interest. So let's show them a security. I got to find this thing. Um... Where's the disposition of collateral? No. Oh, enforcement. No. <clears throat> anyway, I have a security agreement in there somewhere. <clears throat> I'll do it in my time. You... Well, I, think I thought that's I saw the disposition of collateral in that last one you were on. 
Yeah, I thought so too. You've seen it, right? Yeah. I ain't going back. I've come too far. <laughs> <laughs> All right. When are you free again? You free tomorrow? Anytime you want, man. I'm willing. All right. Call it tomorrow. I haven't talked to you in a week. Yeah. No, that sounds great. All right. I'll talk to you then. All right. Let me see. I just want to make sure. That, I mean, I don't got nothing else to do. I want to go over it. All right, letter of credit rights, a security. All right, letter of credit rights. This is what I'm going to get into because I'm going to show you guys how to drop letters of credit in one class. Okay, a security interest in a letter of credit, right? That supporting obligation is perfected automatically. A security interest perfected by control of a letter of credit is superior to a security interest in a letter of credit, right? Perfected automatically as a supporting obligation. If there are competing interests, each perfected by control. Priority is by the time of obtaining control. So whoever filed the first security interest, that's why when you guys are putting the security interest on the all cat name and your estates, whoever's first in line to file that interest has priority. Okay, a security interest in the letter of credit right is subordinate to the rights of a transferee beneficiary or nominated person under UCC Article 5-114. That's important. UCC Article 5-114. Oh, transfer of money. Article 9 seeks to ensure the free flow of funds. Accordingly, a transferee of money takes free of any security interest absent collusion with the debtor to violate a secured party's rights. And that's what I'm talking about. When you guys are set up and you know what you're doing and you come correct and everybody's notified, and you give your bank proper notice of who you are. You list them as, on the UCC one as a debtor. You have the executor letter, forgiveness letter, death certificate, letters testamentary, which is just your executive letter, claimant of death, and not, you know what I mean? That, so, any, so when you kill them off, you liquidate your estate, and you have your death certificate, how can anybody bill you after that? You just send them a death certificate and say, so long, family's dead. Who are you billing? And keep the line on hot. How do we get that death certificate? Don't worry about it, Captain Kirk. All right, Spock. You, you have to have a claimant. You have to have a claimant of death, which is an affidavit of death. <clears throat> then you have to have your executor letter, <clears throat> forgiveness letter, which is your letters testamentary. You have to have your living will. And then you have to have, I bring in my, my IRS letter with my 82 on it that says I'm the executor for the estate. So. Everybody go out and grab this book. Yeah, I'll stop sharing. This one will show you how to buy whatever you want as well. This just, got, this just got mine and six others today, man, that you recommended. Yeah. <laughs> You'll have to, you won't be able to put them down. Like, you know what I mean? Like this, this one, this 2A, the leases is a very, very, very important. Very important. Goes into <clears throat> leasing equipment, leasing cars, leasing planes, leasing uh, every, you know what I mean? What, you want to say hi to everybody? Babylonians? Hey. There. I'm gonna help train the dog if I buy this dog. I will. I've been over here all the time. Like, See, I maybe I don't want that. Maybe no, I don't want the dog. You're gonna feed it all the time. <laughs> all right. Yeah. So, practice under Article Nine of the UCC Second Edition uh, Uniform Commercial Code Committee. Yes, I love you. All right. Hold on. I just gotta pull to the first tab. Wow. What's up? Thank you. You farting? With you? No way. Uh -huh. Secured parties options after default. Upon the debtor's default, the secured party may, to, may take possession of collateral. I don't want to talk about that. I don't want to that. But only of doing so will not result in the breach of peace. You see Article 9-609, subsection A, subsection B. The secured party may collect the collateral from the account that What do you want on this dog? What? Uh, what? 
Sorry. Hey. What? Um, if you want to meet me tomorrow, right? Yeah. So like, we have till like six. Well, we have to be there at six. Well, what time she? I got a meeting at seven. Well, we just have to All right, family, finish up. I, I'm done with this. I got to be off. I'm only going to do this for an hour. All right. All right. So the secure party may collect the collateral from the account debtors and the other person's obligated to the collateral. Then go read 9 607. Okay, that's fine. All right, I'm going to show you guys a secure transaction and I'm going to send all these codes to Laurel and you guys have fun with it. All right, so whatever you guys want, you guys are set up, liquidate, and you go to the card place, okay? If you guys want to call me, you guys need me, let me know. Uh, I'll prepare you before you go, what you got to say, um, and stuff like that. So let me grab all this stuff out of here. All right, bro. Yeah, I can't remember. Yeah, we need I'm almost done. I'm just going to show them how to do a secure transaction. Okay. I'm going to send them the codes. I'm about to compliment you, so you better take it. Uh -huh. I don't hate you. You're okay. pretty cool. Yeah, I'm in the middle of <laughs> I'm judging. I'm judging. Thank you very much. Well, at least she don't hate you. <laughs> All right, people want to see the letter. This is your bill of sale. This is for the RV I just bought. That's just the banker's acceptance on there. It's all just accepted for value and consideration. Uh, the form is to HJR one ninety two public law seventy three ten. Just to, you know, what I mean, just regular stuff. But see, I use my on the back of my social security card. I use my bond number on the back. So down here, there's just my, and that's your insurance. So the public side is your account number. On the back of it, the private side is your insurance, where you're unlimited. Because you can always create more insurance. You have like get. So if you're riding in your car, you get to an accident and you have your indemnity bond in there for a hundred billion. All you do is you give them that registered mail number and that's where they pull the money out of and everybody becomes whole. You're a creditor. You make everybody whole. You know, nobody ever takes a loss when they do business with us. We make everybody whole. So that's your first boom. You go there, uh, just grab a bill of sale, you're telling that the, the the funds be wired in three three days, three business days, as long as it should take. I was being mentored it, so it took a couple months. Test me. Here's your negative check. Don't worry about that treasury stone. Real shit. See that negative shit? Is there anybody out there that could teach you about negative accounting and any of this group setting up your trust paperwork? <laughs> so you see, there's the drawer. There's the drawee. There's your instructions. And then some people put on there on site. There's your, my registered mail number. So now this is a registered security. Check number. DTC FINS number. To all them fuckboys setting up your trust, show you this shit. Nah, can't do it, fuckboys.
written under your name there? American National. Ah, oh, okay, thanks. PJ, can you go over the Finns DTC? Um, Steve got his back today as a rejection for individual accounts. Because he's not, you're not doing individual anymore. No you're doing a business account, trust account. Yeah, we're gonna have to go over that. That's that's strictly private shit. That's DTC because that's he's talking about transfer agent paperwork. Yes. Heckner or Middleton? Middleton. Oh, I know that. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I got an email saying uh, that. Uh, yeah, because we're setting up trust, old boy. What I tell you? Okay. Get your ass <laughs> up here. You ain't in the car yet. Why are you on this fucking <laughs> car? You're not in the car yet. <laughs> I see Doc over there. Yeah. Doc, you're not loading the car yet up? <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, so that's your. this is your first two. We're, in, we're going in order. So you go to the store, whatever you want, RV, boat, jet skis, three at a time, four at a time. John 1034, right? Whenever I say John 1034, they're, oh, they're talking about the judges. King's Court is always in session. Queen's Court is always in session. You guys are judges. You guys are Elohim. Not these cucks in black robes. Pagan priests. For ball. That's why you got to bail out. For ball. B-A-L. Now we will, this is your asset. See how I registered the asset? Right here is, oh man. See that? That's a bill, registered asset. That bill of sale has your my name on it, an amount, a date, and then that sign of nature, which makes that a negotiable bad boy instrument. And the registered mail number makes it a security. What's wealth? Zero. Every, all the rich people, their account balances are always at zero. Zero is infinite. Boom. Negative accounting. Now, we created the negative check, right? So this is what we're going to be reporting on the 1099s. This is our gift to the treasury. Because as you see, I didn't put in the memo. What you put in the memo is this is the, for reduction of public debt. When you want your 11 million for the for your estate, IRS publication is 950. You send Social Security Administration uh, an unconditional donation for negative 11 million, and then you claim that gift back because you get 100 percent back from your donation, right? Don't get offended. You got to wake up. And then go to church on Sundays and you that cross, right? It's the unfold the cube. The Muslims circle the cube. I, I, I keep going. But anyways, I'm going to keep going. I'm going to keep going. So do your negative check. And let me see. My negative 1041B should be over here. Or before that one. Before it. If you put this together. All right. So. Uh, you guys like science or multiplication? Two negatives make a positive, right? Negative 1041. V, negative check. Register mail. See that register mail number? It's the same one I have on my check, same one I have on the bill of sale. I'm registering everything. Mm, you want to see the instructions to Mnuchin over there? Dun, 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 dun. Dun, 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 dun. Oh, this one's to, I think, Social Security Administrator. Yeah, this is to so the Social Security Administrator, uh, United States Secretary of the Treasury, Stephen Mnuchin. Please accept this unconditional donation of a negative 175,600. 
please send an electronic funds transfer to da 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 real spit right here tell them boys setting up your trust to show you this stuff man and then tell them boys that are setting up your trust to take you at the final table and then when you don't have your three registered mail numbers and all your bonds cured and your foot you're messed up you come in my group talking shit to Laurel you lucky if eh. so I don't I hate Facebook shit Someone will end up knocking on your door, you're gonna think it's dominoes. Okay, I so I got I know my 1099A is in here. So recap real quick. You went, grabbed the car, grabbed the bill of sale, we accepted it, made that an unconditional promise to pay, security, registered it, negative check, negative 1041V. Uh Now we gotta claim. Now we gotta claim our negative check. Report the gift, right? So, we, when we send it to the tre, everything goes to the treasury because we're banking with the treasury, we're banking with the bosses, Mnuchin, all these big, big boys. Um, we gotta recoup it. We gotta, re you know, what I mean, we can't lose our security. We gotta control it. We have to control our res. So, ten ninety nine a. Your check. And just let me find my 10. I, I know. Okay. See, I love Fee, man. Oh, she be keeping me organized. Thank God. And how come I don't have one frivolous filing? Not one. Because if they send me some dumb shit, I'm indicting them. That's why. Cause you get to a point where like everybody talks about like, man, I just don't want to be fucked with. Go indict somebody. You will never be fucked with again. So you got 1099A, your check. Okay. Uh, the lender is the all cap name. That's your business. That's your company. You know what I mean? Your private banker that all that, that, all cap that estate, it's a bank, it's banker. You know what I mean? Title 31 USC section 5312, it's a banker. Okay, and then the account number. Um, no, okay, so lenders. My, okay, so you guys will not be using your social no more. This is where your 82 goes. And then th this is the borrower's, okay, the borrower was Alpen Haas. Using the 82 when they ask for EIN? Yep. And then there's their EIN. My mom's birthday, I did it on. And then uh, the description is the check number 1001 and the registered mail number. You only get a, not like a, a certain amount. So now I put the registered mail number and the value and the description. That's, I try to get that in there. Are you always using the same regis registered number for the no. same transaction? No. Okay. Oh, the same transaction, yeah? Yeah. yeah. Thank you. Got it. Got it. Okay. 1099A, 1090. I don't know what my 1096 is. I don't think I made copies. Huh? Yeah, but it's backwards, it's not. You got me taking stuff out the sleeve, Fee. Oh, what do we got here, Joe? So your 1099A goes with the 1096. Real smooth, real simple, smooth operating stuff, baby. Real simple. People that try to complicate this stuff and stretch this shit out for you guys are bums. They don't want, they don't, they, they, they're afraid that you're going to surpass them. I hope all you guys surpass me and make me look weak. 
Just don't forget about your boy. That's all. Okay. And then I, uh, um, every time that you're dealing with somebody or operating with somebody, always appoint them fiduciary trustee. Pere. And then up here, you guys get used to writing that. I have my 82 in there. See that? And my social. Because they're tied together. Your social security never dies. So even if you had people that are deceased, grandparents, great-grandparents, well, they wouldn't have a social. But anybody that had a social, and if they passed, their social security never, it never dies to stay alive. So everybody from 1933, their shit is still active. I promise you. Okay. And then, so that's your first pack. And then you do the private administrator procedure. Notice of set off, notice of tender. You guys know this. And then uh, you, you send the OID letter. Okay. And they have 15 days. This is, see, this is from my estate. Now they're dealing with my estate. So they have my securities. They have my estate EIN. They have my 1099s, my OID, 8281. And then as of today, they just got the report of the gift, which gets your money back. Release of, um, now that I have a cage code, um, you guys can fill out, I can fill out optional form 90 and 91. This is big for your birth certificates at the end game. This is release of lien and release of property. But there, see, I just got some codes on there. I added some codes. I'm always adding some people shit. Okay, so boom. The funds should already be that, like, when you're set up, it takes three days, maybe a week for the funds to transfer to where it's transferred. Your first, if your first, if, if your first secured transaction takes up to 30 days, so fucking what? It's you're learning. Stop being greedy and learn. Another reason these 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 people have been throwing this five million. I haven't gone to the bank. I could care less. Go get it. I could care. I'm working on foreclosures and shit. I'm making sure people don't get kicked out of their houses. I care less about them. That's how you enter. And I'll show you my surety bond. Everybody can see my surety. That's for my court case. I'm gonna donate it to my city. Cause it hurts them. You see what I'm saying? Where I come from, how, what I came out of. I go sue the state, get take fifty six million. I just give it back to my city. That shit kills them. Fuck them. I was talking to my homegirl about this. You know what the queen did? You know why she's the queen of England? She married. She married the corporation. That, that's why her husband's a prince. He's not a king. She married the. She married England. You see what I mean? That's why I asked T, I was Tosh. I was like, yo, how can I marry New York? How can I ask New York's hand in marriage? And I put the claim in as an emperor of New York. Who's going to say something? And if you don't think I got the bull to do it, you're crazy. I don't think so, man. All right, watching you come up here, old boy. I can verify he's crazy. <laughs> Thanks, Laurel. And then, okay, so this is whatever you guys hear me talk about, a certificate of service. It's just basically um, everything that you're putting in the pack, okay? That's all, you know what I mean? And then a proof of mailing with all your stuff. Um... 15 days goes by, now we gotta fill that OID out. I'm gonna show you the OID. PJ? Yep. Did you um, include the UCC in your first pack with uh, the assignment? I'm gonna have Laurel pull up the rest of my secure transaction on here. Okay. In just a second, I'm gonna show you. Okay. I see, I'm gonna go over to OID. Oh, you're right. My bad. Thank you. With the check, this is what I'm going to show you the picture. The, the picture is going to show you the registration on the UCC1 and the assignment on the UCC3 to Mnuchin. Everything goes to Mnuchin. 
that all, thank you. That also goes in your first pay. I always forget that. Reg, register your check on the UCC one and the assignment to Mnuchin. Okay. All right. So then, pull out the OID. There's the one for the Bentley. How do you acquire the check? Um, I have a class that shows um, how to create the check. Um, I don't know where from Google. I don't know where my one went. There we go. See, did you know my? I had a check over here that I was showing everybody that I have my treasury check. Where? No. No, it was just a blank one that I was showing people like the back of it, how to do this. So I got I got to work on indictments. Oh, and this is okay. <laughs> I want to want to show everybody this shit. Anybody that thinks like my shit got, I'll show you how my trust got set up. So you know, like when you're a little kid and you get those awards on that thick cardstock stuff with the flashy. Well, I, I bought that and it had silver outlining around it. <laughs> so this is my first set of bonds, guys. Okay, and I didn't have nobody. Uh, there's my birth certificate. I put the acceptance on the front and sent that bitch off. It's it was incomplete. That's why I redid it. But because I've been helping so many people and setting their shit up the right way, and then there's my mom and my sister stuff on there. I ain't gonna show that there. But I, this was just on. When I said when when Gene says you can write this stuff on a napkin, you can write this stuff on a napkin. But let me get to the OID. OID, OID, OID. EJ. Uh-huh. When you're discharging, it's it's pretty much the same setup and everything as a secured transaction. How long does it take for them to discharge? When you're all set up, it'd be the same as a tax return. So 30 days. Okay. But when you're a DTC participant and you're a transfer agent, you zero out your account every day. That's why you're a transfer agent because you'll do all the appro appropriate accounting and all the appropriate setoffs and notifications with your DTC agent. So here's the OID. See, I put the estate. I didn't put the suite on there. That's a fuck up on my behalf. I'm sorry. Um, but you put your suite PO box in here. But it, I mean, my suite's on everything, so they don't get it. But that's for the Bentley. That's for Alpen Haas. You see, I got my 82 as the payer. Okay? So I'm paying them. And then the recipient is Alpen Haas. They got to receive the funds. Okay? And in the description, it just says check number paid to the order of United States Treasury in the value of negative $175,616. And then see, the account number is the registered mail number. Okay, simple, man. The reason why people get in trouble for filing OIDs, and someone asked me in one of the military classes, is the, the reason why I can use, the reason why I can use this stuff, and the number on the back of my social security card, is because I'm, I've insured my vessel. I'm insured. The indemnity bond is there. It's lodged. That's why I can use it, and it's on all my paperwork, my security agreements, my bonds. It's all insured. That's why I can use my stuff. That's the importance of insurance. Marine insurance. And in that book, um, the Admiralty Law book, the big red one. Let me grab it.
Grant Gilmore. Right there. This is a bad motherfucker right here. If you want to go into your birth certificate, it gets into the bill of lading, and it goes into marine insurance, um, carriage of goods under bills of lading. I mean, fam, I mean, I smoked a ton of weed to get through this, but some of it was very, very important. Very, very important. Um, it gives me a good understanding of court procedures, court business, uh, law of the sea. They, it's basically everything in there. And then uh, this is all I've been using for my indictments. I've been pulling everything out of this one. Okay, so you guys, Laurel, pull up that picture so they can see the 8281, the UCC1, how I signed it. And then next class, I'm going to show everybody how to fill out their 709s, and that's your recoupment. And as long as you haven't spent over $11 million. They ain't letting you show my shit? There you go. There you go. All that. Did you need a 56 with that? It's in the top right. All right. See it? There's that second page. And the 56 is under it, you see what I'm saying? Come on, baby. I don't think I showed the negative 1041B in it. That's the only thing I don't show. Yeah, it's underneath that. Cool. Yeah, I got all of those. I got all of those done except for the 56. Cool. <clears throat> Why'd you put them both on the same UCC? Because it's in my collateral. I don't need to, it's all to my, you're registering the securities. It's in the collateral. I, I get that. But if you have to do a release on one, can you release or terminate on one? And what are you releasing? Other? What are you releasing or terminating? So, so like when you got the Bentley, you had both of them put on the same UCC, right? And they both went on my OID. And they both went on your OID. But if you got one and didn't get the other one, how would you release it? It don't happen. If, if I don't get it, I got them. But listen, if I didn't get one, then I didn't, I indict. Oh. I indict. Here's my stuff. Here's the UC. It doesn't matter that I have an, another thing because it's two separate. You know what I mean? I separate the collateral on there. You know, the collateral is separate on the UCC one. The check number because the check numbers are different. So what I would be referencing is the UCC one and then the check number in the collateral. Because part of your secured transaction is the only thing that, that you guys can add to the collateral is the VIN number, the year, the model, and the make. That's what you can add to the collateral. And that's it. See the UCC3? I signed everything in Mnuchin. Well, right. But when you do the termination and you terminate the financing agreement and the lien, when you. That's just a UCC3. Okay, but it's a term termination of everything on that, that assignment, correct? Yeah. Okay, so. That's part of the transaction, though. You see what I'm saying? You don't. Because what you're doing is you're filing the UCC one, you're placing a commercial lien on the business. Okay, if they don't deliver your assets, you take that fault, you take that lien, you insure it, you take you take it to the Secretary of State and get a certificate of lien, indemnify it, get a QCIP, fill out Form Ten, go see a Series Seven broker, 
and lodge that fucker and get you're gonna get paid and then you're gonna have the indictment. So then, all right, so now they've conspired against your right to contract. They're holding contraband, stolen stolen securities, um, tax evasion, estate embezzlement. Uh, I could keep going, and then you indict them. Now you're now you have a five hundred million dollar indictment on the company just because they didn't deliver your card. They're not believe me. They're not gonna not do it. Okay. Did you have to have anything else to terminate? Like no, and I I only ask because I'm in construction and when I file a lien, I have to have like a satisfaction or something like that. Was there anything like that that had to go with the termination statement? So I all right. So I filed the UCC three. I put a cover letter together that me and Laurel faxed to the company saying. The uh, lien has been terminated. Here's the UCC number, bop, bop, bop. Okay. I'll send it to you. Good, thanks. And then you fill out 709. But we'll see, because I was mentored, when you fill out the 82, uh, 8281 and the OID, the 709 goes with it. That all goes at once. So after two weeks, you know what I mean, you send it out, give seven to ten business mail for them to get it that's what i mean it could take up to 30 days because it's your first transaction you're making your you know you're making your first acquaintances with everybody showing them hey i know how to administer my estate i'm alive baby we're about to change this world up bop, bop, bop. no more losses over here helping my family helping my community helping my fellow man and that's all it is you know it's just a bunch of confusion out there and that's why i still stay on because I really don't need to, you know what I mean? And that's why all the classes are for free. And I'm going to be, I'm be, like I said, I'm going to write music. I could care less. And then I see why Tasha and I see why the people that do this, they operate a certain way. So, yeah, I'll probably create another fake, like a fake Facebook account. And I'll just sit back like I'm like some newbie in the, in the community again. You know what I'm saying? And then I'll see who's working and I'll pull them out. But I felt like. A lot of people practice on each other, and I, I practiced on myself. You know what I'm saying? I, people got balls, fam. That's what I mean. Like, I figured once you get to this, and it's you're supposed to be an honor, and it's just, man, so many people are so indoctrinated and conditioned into the Babylonian indoctrination of selling and selling yourself and selling to each other and, and transferring humans and selling humans and selling. That shit's over, fam. Fuck all that. Okay, so with the negative check, does Mnuchin get to fractionalize this? Yeah, they, they, they do whatever they want to it. You're helping the economy out. You're taking, you're reducing public debt, which is your obligation to do. And see, once we start waking everybody up and we all bank with the treasury, we will become a sovereign nation. Yeah. Time for that again. Yeah. All right. So look, it's 1030. I was only going to do it for an hour. Appreciate you, man. Other class next week. They're gonna be, you know, an hour long. You guys are in the group. It's on. I'm gonna start holding um, personalized mentor groups because I'll be traveling. I'll come see you, and then we'll buy cars. I'll walk you through it. I'll go take you to go set up bank accounts. Um, Laura will be in touch with everybody, and then um, we'll have fun, man. And then like, they're gearing me up for this. Like we're gonna fly everybody out. Probably go down to some tropical place. I need some big leagues and talk about the future of this world. You know what I'm saying? So, Points land. Yeah, yeah, I'll be over. I'll be over. Um, but you guys just stay persistent. Follow your heart. Don't give up on your dreams. They're all coming true. Doc, get your ass up here. Steve, I'll see you. Um, I got more indictments to work on. Uh, everybody stay in touch. I love you guys. Let love and light guide you. Hotep, and you guys have a great night. Peace. Good night. Thanks again, brother. Good night, PJ. Love you, PJ. See ya. See you later. Night, everybody. Night. Night. Peace and love. Good night. Good night. You still Keep up the good work, everybody. Good night. Thanks, Brian. Thanks, PJ.
Good night, everyone. Welcome, Sandy. Good night, everybody. Good night, Brian. Thank you, Laurel. Thanks, Laurel. Are you there, Laurel? <laughs>